so we're here to talk about the Thrive program. Um, in front of the camera, the people that you can actually see are Poppy Hewitt. Do you want to say hello? Hi. Everybody. And Caroline Hewitt, Poppy's mum. I'm, hello. Uh, sorry, <laughs> I'm Adam Hewitt. I'm Poppy's dad. Um, we're not professionals, as you can tell. This is just being done on a mobile phone. But uh, following the Thrive program, uh, we really wanted to give some information to others out there about it. So let's start at the top, Pop. Um, can you explain to us how you kind of felt um, before the Thrive program? What, it, what kind of impact it had on your life? I was very nervous all the time and I would panic a lot at school. I would try and stay away from all the younger kids and I would not go on school trips on like public transport. Um, I tried to like stay away from anyone who had previously been ill and I was just very anxious in general. Okay, so so for, for, for those, because obviously we're doing this uh, video, so what was it you were scared of? Sickness and germs. Okay, and that stopped you from going on school trips and things. Caroline, can you add anything more to that about how it kind of affected Poppy? It was completely... Um, life inhibiting for Poppy. She wouldn't go anywhere, she wouldn't do anything, she wouldn't socialise with people, she'd stop attending her clubs, uh, she was anxious, quite honestly, a lot of the time miserable because she was cutting herself off from all of her friends. Um, yeah, completely life inhibiting. She wouldn't, wouldn't do anything new, didn't want to go out and eat at restaurants, you name it, it, it affected every part of her life. I remember one particular summer when we were looking at booking a holiday. Um, we've been abroad um, previously. Obviously, you had this uh, emetophobia, this fear of sickness. Can you tell us what happened when we were looking at booking a holiday, Poppy? I refused to go on holiday. I was scared that someone would be sick on the plane. Of course, my like, cousin had come home and said that he was sick on the plane. And that panicked me a lot. So I was very against going on a plane and I wouldn't go on like car journeys to France or anywhere because I was worried that I would get sick or something like that. Okay. If we were going on a long journey as well, Poppy would, would quite often, if we said we have to do the long journey, she wouldn't eat for fear of them being sick so she would, would try and completely starve herself before we travelled anywhere. Okay. So, can you tell us about um, what your family, as in myself and Caroline, your mum there, um, tried to do to uh, uh, to help you out with this uh, problem? Well, first of all, they had to find out what it was, emetophobia, because we just thought that um, I was just scared in general. And we found out that it was emetophobia. And then we tried hypnotherapy and it worked for a while. But then we went to Disneyland in France and someone was sick on a roller coaster and that just completely panicked me too much and I got really stressed again. Okay. Caroline, is there anything else you can think of that we might have tried or, or, or considered? Uh, so initially we, we were com completely unaware of what was going on. Um, so I remember in year six trying to get Poppy into the school. She would be clinging on to me, being peeled off me by teachers. And I, we just literally thought it was a separation anxiety. Uh, at that time we didn't, Poppy hadn't told us, we, we weren't aware that she was completely scared of getting ill. Um, so we, we never gave in. We always took her into school. She always uh, went to the school, uh, much as it was heart, heartbreaking having her peeled off of me at the time. Um, so we did, uh, we did persevere with that. Uh, and then we, we found the hypnotherapist um, and we, we tried that as a route, um, which had some success, I have to say, um, but limited success as we discovered in Disneyland. Um, and then we, uh, we de out of desperation, we contacted Bendon, um, who were a healthcare provider that we had, and we tried to get some help from them. We also went to the GP, uh, we got put on the CAMS waiting list. So we tried to do a number of things, um, but 
everything was just so slow time. Okay. So tell us about the Thrive Programme, Poppy. How, how, how did we kind of, um, well, I suppose possibly more Caroline actually is going to be able to answer this, but how did we come across it? How did you feel about it initially when you saw it? Um, what kind of made you go for it? Initially when we saw it, it my mum gave me the book and she said, try this out, it'll help you with your netophobia. But I was not very willing to cooperate. I did not, I was not able to find time to fit in all the tasks and I was just struggling a lot. So then my about a year later, my mum found Diane and she helped me get through the book and that really helped. So yeah, initially we, we did quite a lot of research and we discovered that the Thrive Programme um, and decided we'd, we'd buy the workbook and go through that with Poppy. But Poppy was um, still, I think after the hypnotherapy had failed, she was quite reluctant to try anything and she kind of just believed she was going to be suffering from it forever. Um, and it wasn't until we met Diane um, that Poppy actually decided with a little bit of help she could get through this. Okay. Would it be fair to say that when you first sort of looked at Thrive, having tried everything else, that you felt possibly a little bit sceptical? I know I did, so... Yes. Yeah. Yes, yeah. I think scepticism is a, a good word for it initially. Yeah, okay. And how did you actually find the Thrive programme? So now you've met Diane, um, how did it kind of evolve? How, how, how did you find it, Pop? It was very helpful, and going to meet Diane was very enjoyable. I quite enjoyed seeing her. Um... She was very friendly and very welcoming. Um, and within the first three weeks of the Thrive Programme, it had helped immensely. So uh, my sister was ill within the first three weeks. And normally, before the Thrive Programme, I would have run up to my bedroom, locked myself in, and would have refused to leave until she had gone to bed. But then... Our, when she was sick, three weeks after I'd started the Thrive Programme, I went and spoke to her and um, I stayed in the room with her and it was really, like, really good for me to do that because normally I would not have done that. Okay. There was a massive change really quickly. So um, as soon as Poppy actually engaged with the programme and we started working through the activities, she could very quickly see how her current style of thinking wasn't very helpful. And once she started to turn those thoughts into more helpful thoughts, then instantly she became much more able to cope with a whole variety of different situations, such as Sophie being sick. Okay. And you've mentioned already that you saw the change within Poppy within sort of three weeks. How did that change kind of progress as you carried on for three weeks plus? Um, it got a lot better. I got... I found it easier to like change negative thoughts to positives and like I was a lot happier all the time like I started doing more clubs again I um joined new clubs and then after the fire program we actually decided that we would go on holiday to Egypt which was something I would never ever do because I did not want to go on an airplane so after the Thrive Programme, we went to Egypt, and it was a really, really good experience. Okay. So you mentioned the holiday and some of the clubs. How would you, you see, oh, several months on, how would you kind of um, describe your life now uh, and how you feel about things several months on? It's a lot better. Um, I've been thinking about going on more school trips. Um, there's a science one coming up, and I can't wait for it. And um, I've just been a lot happier. I've been more social. I've been going to like new clubs such as kayaking. I did that. Um, and I've been just a lot happier. Yep. Caroline, is there anything you've kind of noticed about Poppy since yeah, the Thrive Programme? Generally, she has been a much, a much happier child, a much less anxious child. So uh, before, at the end of every school holiday, when it was time for that, that Sunday evening let's go to bed, you could guarantee Poppy would spend several hours getting up and down and up and down just because she was anxious about going back to school. But since doing the Thrive Programme, that's, that's stopped. 
she's much happier with that. She mentioned it herself, she started kayaking. And, and within the first week, obviously, she fell out of the kayak and into the water, which would have been something that would have completely traumatised her before. But she just she just got back in the boat and carried on. It was it was it was brilliant. Um, she she has a lot of very good days. She has a lot of what you would call normal days, and then she'll have the odd one or two days which aren't so great. Um, and that's part of the benefit of me having gone through the program with her is that we can say to her very quickly, "How are you thinking? What's your thinking style like at the moment? How can we turn that into a positive thought?" And with just a little bit of encouragement, those bad days, and we all have bad days, we're all always going to have bad days, with just a little bit of encouragement, she can very quickly now recover that. Um, and that's something that's becoming much more able for her to do, is to turn it very quickly into uh, a positive again. So generally, uh, a completely different person, uh, thriving, making family life so much easier, um, yeah, it's it's all good from our point of view. <laughs> Interesting, you mentioned uh, school. Um, obviously, school starts um, uh, sort of this uh, uh, tomorrow. So, how do you feel about school starting tomorrow? I don't want to go to school. I mean, I've been enjoying the holidays way too much. But going to school won't be that bad. Like, I'll be able to go to sleep and. It will be fine. So, yeah. Okay, good. And if someone was considering a Thrive program, um, what would you say to them? Go for it, definitely. I've been recommending it to one of my friends who's also a bit scared of sickness, and I can't wait for him to start. He'll be so much happier. And you should just definitely go for it if you're considering it. Caroline? Uh, yeah, I, I definitely say it's time to stop having your life inhibited uh, and time to start actually living living the life. It's um, it's a really straightforward, easy program to do. As long as you put in the effort, you'll reap the reward. Um, and as a family, we couldn't recommend it highly enough. It's completely changed family life. We can now do all the things that we previously looked at other families doing, like going on holidays, like... Uh, going on day trips out on a bus rather than having to drive somewhere without having to think about um, the plannings of it and preparing properly for it. We can wake up and just say, hey, let's go somewhere today. Um, and we can. Um, I'd also say that it hasn't only affected uh, Poppy in terms of the emetophobia. Um, it's affected every part of her life. She's just so much more positive. Um, so yeah, definitely couldn't recommend it enough. I'd say um, we're not... Uh, video professionals there so sorry for the uh, uh, doorbell ringing I feel a little bit left out so I'm just going to pop in front of the camera and I just want to say how very proud we are of Poppy going through the Thrive programme.